On today's video, we're talking about how a Ford Bronco that was stolen off of a Ford lot was sold to a buyer on Craigslist for $75,000. Hey guys, hello, Keep It Dirty Off-Road, and today we're going to be talking about a story that came up this week about a Ford Bronco that was, went up for sale, and a guy bought it for $75,000 that turned out to be stolen. Now, the guy's out all his money, but in this video, we're going to talk about what the actual story is all about and kind of my thoughts on it, too, because there's some... There's, there's a couple things fishy about the story. So first of all, let's start at the beginning. So this guy, according to the article in The Drive, his name is Nick. He found a Ford Raptor Bronco on Craigslist that was listed for, I don't know what the actual price. How much did you spend on that car? Uh, 75. $75,000. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, I messed up for sure. He knew that the deal was too good to be true. I mean, $75,000 for a Bronco makes no sense. The, the average um, MSRP for a Bronco is in the 80s, and if you run a search online, you'll see that they're going for ninety, dollars $110,000. Very few of them are going for MSRP. There's a ton of them available, but they're all very, they're priced very high. So first of all, the price, $75,000, that doesn't pass the sniff test. And I think he felt the same way too, because he ran a Carfax report on the vehicle, and then when he wanted to go register it, he used a third-party service to register it and validate that the VIN was good. You assume clear. the car is yeah. clear, free and clear. Because yeah. if there was any issues, the VIN would have flagged, and I'm assuming in the systems that they have, and it didn't, right? He knew something was up. $75,000 for a Bronco Raptor makes no sense. It was titled in Alaska. Right. All the information that he got was that he was an Alaska truck. He knew something was up, and, but he still went ahead and went with the deal. And even he has really good pictures of the folks and everything that sold it to him and everything. So everything appeared to be good. It turns out the Bronco had a phony VIN number that the state's MVD system did not catch. Later on down the road, he goes to trade in the Bronco. I'm guessing this is a few weeks later. As the dealer's doing their VIN check, right, they're just basically looking at the vehicle, inspecting it, and doing a quick VIN check, they noticed something was wrong, and that's when they found out that this Bronco Raptor was actually part of the Broncos that were stolen off the Ford lots a couple years ago and was being resold as a scam with a fake VIN number. Now, as far as we know, he's out to 75000 Currently, Phoenix Police, I think it is. Arizona Police currently have the vehicle, and he's out to $75,000. If you don't know, it's been happening for a while, but it first started off in, let's see, when was this? First started off in 2022, actually June of 2022, where robbers started to get really um, brazen and a bunch of vehicles were stolen off of manufactured lots in Detroit. You saw this with Ford, Raptors, Mustangs, Broncos. I think we saw a few Hellcats, right? There was quite a bit of vehicles being stolen directly off of Ford lots because they were just sitting there. Thousands and thousands of vehicles were just sitting there waiting on chips. These took advantage of the very light security and stole a bunch of vehicles from manufacturers back then. One would assume that those vehicles probably made it overseas or something like that, but it turns out, no, the majority of these vehicles are being sold at as used vehicles in multiple states in the US. They've been showing up in Tennessee, in Georgia, New Mexico, Arizona, and California. And they're all being sold under fake VIN numbers with stolen identities and people are getting scammed uh, for thousands of dollars. There's a couple of things on the story that to me didn't pass the, the sniff test, right? There's a couple things that are off about it. So first off is the price, right? When you see a deal that's too good to be true, chances are it's a scam. I mean, 99% of the time it's a scam. Nobody's gonna sell a Bronco Raptor for $75,000, nobody. Especially something like this. I think he says he's out $75,000, so I'm guessing that's $75,000 with taxes and licensing, which that means that Bronco was priced really low. He probably got it for about half of what he should have, right? Those Broncos, the MSRPs in the 80s, they're selling for 90, 110. I mean, we saw even one dealer in Arkansas is asking over $200,000 for a Bronco. This dealer in Arkansas is selling a Bronco Raptor for $249,499. Nobody's selling Broncos uh, under MSRP, especially a Bronco Raptor, and definitely not that low. So that's the first, first sign that you're getting scammed. I think he understood that that's what was going on, so he did his due diligence. He did a Carfax report, and he went through a, a third-party DMV agency to register the vehicle to protect himself. You assume 
clear. the car is yeah. clear, free and clear. Because yeah. if there was any issues, the VIN would have flagged, and it didn't, right? Now, unfortunately, those don't actually protect you, right? They just give you information. It's up to you to make the decision. And for whatever reason, the registration agency didn't catch that that was a fake VIN. Don't know why, but they didn't catch it. Maybe it's because it was registered in Alaska, and in Alaska, maybe it's not connected to the, all the states through the DMV network like some are. Who knows? Here's, I think, where the story takes a turn, right? So this guy got a really good deal. I don't know this guy, by the way, and I, if he's a fan, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> but um, he got a really good deal, and I'm sure he looked at the market and saw how much Bronco Raptors were going for. I'm sure he did a trade-in value assessment, and we'll probably do one here just to see where they're at. And he decided to make a little bit of extra money based on the really good deal that he got. I mean, $75,000 Bronco Raptor. I'm sure he could probably trade it in trade it in for MSRP or more, maybe 80s and 90s, make 15, 20 grand off of it and get something better. According to the news articles we saw, he was trying to trade it in for another truck. We don't know what kind of truck that is, right? But he was definitely trying to trade it in and make some money off of it. And that's when things fell apart. The dealer found out within a couple minutes of looking at the vehicle that it was stolen. That's kind of sketchy, right? I mean, it's a you got two things, right? It's a deal that's too good to be true, and then second, you're trying to profit off that deal that's way too good to be true, and it bit him in the butt for seventy-five thousand. Now, I feel sorry for the guy. That is a pretty crazy hit to take. I mean, there's not much that he can do, right? He does have pictures of the guys. There was a, a dude and a lady that sold it to him. I guess that kind of added to the credibility, right? It's a couple, so that kind of helps out to try to find those people. But there's been quite a bit of people arrested uh, in relation to that scam. Now, let's see how much the trade-in value is for a Bronco. So let's go to, let's go to KBB. They probably may not have anything, but let's see. My car's value, let's go make, oh, 2023s are here. Let's see, Ford, Bronco, let's say it had 3,500 miles on it. We don't know how many miles it had on there. I'm gonna put my area and let's go. It's the Bronco, there it is. Raptor Sport Utility, next. Select your options. And we're going to assume Broncos basically have everything. And if you look, they basically almost always do. So we're just going to assume it has everything. And let's just see what the maximum profit could have been. Not roof rack, oversized tires. We know it has that. And let's just say it has the carbon fiber. And it was that code orange. So we're going to pick orange. Let's say it's an excellent condition because it's basically new. Let's see what Kelly Blue Book says. <laughs> Okay, this guy was definitely trying to make some money. So the average trade-in is 95,000 to 105,000. So about 100,000. So he bought it for 75. He was trying to make 25 grand. Private party on these is not far after around 105. So I think I think a dealer would probably give him close to MSRP 85 to 90 for something like this. Yeah, I think they would. I mean, I think if he would have never tried to trade it in and just enjoyed his Bronco Raptor, I think he would have been fine. <laughs> I don't think anybody would have been the wiser until it came down time to sell it again, right? That's when that's when they would have found out. But yeah, man, that's crazy. So, and this kind of goes into the thing we've been talking about last week. There's all kinds of issues with markups and all that stuff. And part of the problem is the people that are paying them. There is also that culture, a big point that everybody keeps bringing up too. Well, not everybody, but a few folks have brought up is that some people buy these trucks at MSRP just to flip them. And yes, there is that mentality. There is a lot of people out there that will buy these trucks just for the sole purpose of flipping them and making some money and i get that that happens this guy tried to do it he got a killer dude who was trying to do it but i think if you're going to spend that much money guys i mean just keep it why the hell are you trying to flip cars we're not dealers people are dealers why are you trying to flip cars and make like 20 30 grand it always always backfires and i, I feel like most of those people never take into account for tax title and licensing right 10 percent. that always comes back to bite them and affects their their bottom line so all right, guys, so that's it. Those are my thoughts. I think um, it's a bad situation all around. If you're out there looking for vehicles, if the deal looks too good to be true, it's probably a scam. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Question, comments below. See you guys on the next one.